Mike Dixon from Stone Age Bushcraft here. Come in late last night and set up my hammock without the uh, tarp as I know the weather's going to be good. But I've still got a ridge line up as this is protection from anything falling above, although it's only slight protection, it's at least a bit of protection. Um, so it needs to be of a um, strong cord. I always advise climbing accessory cord. The non-stretch would be um, perfect for that. Around the six, seven mil, it's um, ideal. You know, do a five mil actually. Uh, save weight, carry a bit more. You can always use it for um, abseiling if need be, emergency. But you can abseil off it. Um, so it, it is a load bearing line. Uh, your ridge line, that's exactly what it's designed for, to be load bearing. But uh, enough of that. New concept for a liner for my hammock. Obviously, you can see I've got my wool blanket. And here is a tanned sheepskin. And I've, I've got two of these in here. One opposing ends, lining the whole hammock. And it's worked out perfectly. Although I've only spent a couple of hours in my hammock, it's been ideal and very warm. As you can see, I've got my wool swandry top on. And I've got my wool blanket. And it's been pretty damn warm actually. I'm very happy with that. So I'll um, show you it close up and see what you think. Right guys, so this is what you're looking at. Just a sheepskin that's been brushed and tanned on the back. And when it's tanned, it's actually quite a good non slip material on the back. You have no problem with it moving too much. I think the only problem is where the limbs were. They need to be cut down a bit, but fits in quite nice actually. And like I say, I've got two. Just move it round. And they line it completely, as I said earlier. Which is really nice and warm actually.
guys. New little trick I've found for the metal cup is this is obviously very hot to drink out of and obviously there's no hole in the lid. This is mainly for cooking purposes to speed up the cooking and we can also stick it that way round and you can steam something in there. You also put a foil lid over that bit and you have a perfect little steamer. But for my use it is just purely on top and I've come up with a little hanging system to suspend it over the fire also so which means all the edge gets blackened. So now you've all heard of the jet boil now this is a spare lid I bought for the jet boil which happens to fit very snugly on my metal cup. Now as it's highly heat resistant you could just use this I wouldn't advise using it over the fire but I've used it on my cooker and it works perfect but you have the perfect little cup cosy as to say but you can also drink from it so uh, little tip there